Hey guys, RC here. We are back climbing the ladder, an FM20 journey. The journey's not going very fast, and we're not climbing very high up the ladder. If anything, if anything, the, the rungs of the ladder are breaking apart on us, just completely falling apart. Uh, so since last match, uh, we, we lost to Maidenhead 5-1. Danny Stevenson got a goal for us. Uh, but we were ripped open. We did manage a 4-0 win over Lewis. Uh, Joe Johnson got a penalty. Peter Davies off the back line. Danny Stevenson with a brace. Then we lost to uh, H&W 4-2. Stevenson and Hume, both our strikers, scored. Uh, but it was not enough. And then Chelmsford City, I had hoped for something. Uh, we, <laughs> we uh, Neville Moss, our midfielder, got sent off in the 74th minute. Uh, they scored uh, two goals, three goals after that, and then we got a 95th minute uh, pity goal, I believe, uh, for a 3-1 defeat. Uh, it all came apart for us in about 12 minutes. So, we're down to the final two matches of the season. Slufftown has won the title. Now, remember, we're only supposed to fight bravely against relegation. Right now, here's what I don't know. If we get relegated, that is not a playable league because I do not have a database to go down that low. So I don't know what happens in that event. I said last episode, uh, and it has not gone up yet. Uh, I usually stay one or two episodes ahead of release just to make sure I've got stuff ready to render and go up for you guys to watch. But I had asked last episode, I am finding FM20 to be a kick in the nuts compared to any of the previous games that I've played. Um, we are struggling immensely, immensely. So I don't know... We've gone back to the 3-5-2, and I have done something else. We've made some transfers. So for whatever reason, my director of football has been sitting with his finger up his ass all season. He literally had not signed any, any staff or anything. I had signed an assistant coach, um, and the president had signed the general manager. And I've got everything, all the responsibilities – set for the GM to handle. So I went out and I hired a, uh, a scout. I thought it was supposed to be my chief scout, but evidently not. Uh, and a head physio. And of course, you know, this doesn't make any sense to do this with, you know, five games left in the season, but I did it anyway. Uh, and we don't have any coaches or anything. So, you know, I knew that, but I was kind of waiting to see what was going to happen. So that's what I'm going to blame this year on is that my general manager is just a complete and utter idiot. Um, I didn't expect all the positions to be filled, but I expected one coach, a couple of scouts, and a physio, if nothing else, right? So I went ahead and dug in at the transfer deadline, and we have made some transfers quite a few transfers. Now, he had made a lot of moves earlier in the year. You guys may remember that because we didn't really even have a team. So he did sign quite a few players. Uh, but if we scroll down here to the end of, uh, eight of, end of March, uh, I signed a bunch of guys. So we brought guys in on trial. We signed a bunch of them. Uh, so we, But we've spent some money, and we'll go into that. So the first guy we brought in is Jack McGowan. Uh, he uh, was a free, and uh, yeah, so he is a he's a striker and a winger. We don't play with wingers. Uh, I would like to play with wingers, and we may do something about that. But he is a striker. He's got 13 pace, 14 acceleration, 11 finishing, free kick taking, solid, and he's got decentest first touch. He's played uh, four matches with two goals. Pretty solid rating, but he hasn't uh, debuted for us just yet. Uh, he's gone to our under-18s, 
uh, is where he's kind of sitting in right now. Uh, Kenny Lynch, uh, he is 21 years old. We have uh, signed him on a free uh, five foot nine midfielder. Uh, again, average pace, good balance. He's got passing ability. I literally had nobody on my club that had over a six passing. That sucks. So we've signed him, and I want to make him a playmaker in the midfield. Uh, he has made his debut, played a 6.8, 81% passing. Hey, you know, anything's an improvement at this point. Uh, then we signed uh, Martin Atkins. Now, the problem with Martin is he's ineligible because he's already played for two clubs this year in Didcot and Chippenham Town. Didn't know that, and he only made three appearances. Dribbling, finishing are pretty solid. Fitness, pace, acceleration, he's got really good physical, so... I was hoping he could play. He can't, so he is a next-year project. Ronnie Welch, also a free. Uh, not a big fan of the haircut, but that's okay. Uh, I don't judge, man. He's a goalkeeper. Uh, better reflexes, better one-on-ones. In fact, if we compare him with Hurst, uh, let's see. So aerial reach is pretty close. Handling is better for Hurst. One-on-ones, passing, reflexes. Rushing out is pretty close. I'm actually inclined to give the 19-year-old uh, leadership skills, determination. You know what? I am going to make him my number one now that I've seen that. Uh, Toby Mongoy, uh, he comes to us on a free. Uh, again, a striker, but more of a right winger for me. 13 pace, 14 acceleration, uh, really good teamwork, dribbling, corners, crossing. Again, more of a winger, and that, you know, maybe that's, what, you know what I may need to do? Maybe I put this guy at a wing back, because we're kind of weak at wing back, and it's more of an attacking position anyway in that 3-5-2. I'll have to consider that. Anyway, he hasn't made his debut. He got hurt in training. Uh, Lewis Spice, another free. Uh, he can play all three back line positions. He's actually considered really good when compared against the rest of our team. Physicals are really good. Uh, defense, not quite so much. He has good determination, uh, but I'd rather him be in reserve uh, right now. And then uh, Teron Marchin, uh, he is a, another central mid, and he can play left mid. He can jump out to the wings if he needs to. Pace is horrible. Uh, where did this guy come from? I forget. He's been out of the game for a while, so I signed a warm body. He's got a little bit of a stench to him. His uh, his mentals are really good. He's he's a thinking man, but uh, but he can mark. He can tackle. He has good technique. His passing is actually not shit, so he's not horrible. So maybe he factors into a midfield role, even though he's not great at defense. So with the results, where do we stand? Well, we are in relegation currently. Um, we are fighting it out with Dunstable Town. So they are five points behind Weymouth, <coughs> as are we. I think it's going to come down to us or them. And that's going to be, uh, be bitter if they send us down. <laughs> very bitter uh so we finish off with um slough town who have won the league that's not good for us and maidstone united they are 12th in the league <coughs> dunstable town excuse me for that by the way uh they finish off against chelmsford who are 17th and walking who are 13th so they have the much easier schedule uh oh my god so yeah i was i was really hopeful that we would be able to beat chelmsford and god if we would have just won one or two of these games back here so uh anyway let's get to it this could be a little bit of a long episode because i'm gonna piddle around a little bit 
not that I'm procrastinating, but I've been looking at this. I'm going to clear that slot. So create a new tactic. Let's go here, right? Four, two, three, one. I kind of like that tactic. That's the tactic that uh, that leads plays. So let's go with that. So let's look at complete forward. All right, Atkins is our best guy. Hammond, no pace, good finishing, good first touch, good heading, good jumping reach. Hume has pace, decent finishing, decent first touch, no heading ability. Stevenson, I don't like his finishing. All right, so yeah, we're going to go with Hume. Well, let, I tell you what, let's do let's do our quick pick there. All right, but I'm going to put I'm going to put Hume up top probably. Probably. All right, now Josh Goodwin, he can cross. He's got physicals. Yeah, let's go ahead and put him in. Mongoy is obviously the guy to go to. He's got pace, dribbling. Yeah, I think he's definitely the go-to guy out there. All right, in the defensive mid, passing is a five. I'm not a big fan of that. Connor Cohen. You know what? I'm going to put Cohen back there. He's not a natural. He's not a natural, but he, you know, he's playing a defensive position. Do I make him a let's make him a deep lying playmaker? I think that's a little more suited to him. All right. Johnson Sopel. So Sopel's actually a very good Mazella. Pat, he he's he can pass. All right, so we want him on support. And then an advanced playmaker. Why would it not play this guy? Yeah, I'm gonna play Kenny Lynch there. Let's look at our center backs first. 7, 10, 12. He doesn't have much pace, so, but I do want him there. All right, and then Lewis Spice, 6'6", 6, 6, 8, 6, 11, 7, 9, 10, 8. Actually, I like Seeden there better. And then we're going to look at, uh, let's see, defensive left. Actually, Spice. Do I want him there? No, I want Davies there. So then I can put... All right, I can put Dean Jones there, and then I can put Spice over here. I think that makes us a little more well-rounded. Now, Hume... Let's do that. An inverted wing back. I don't want him to invert... And they don't have to be on attack because we've got these guys up top, right? And Goodwin, he can't finish, so we want we don't want him attacking. We actually want him shooting less. All right, so this is to control possession. Now, I do want to go positive. Work the ball into the box. Uh, let's focus left. Uh, actually, we don't particularly want to do that. Um, that's fine. Distribute. No, I think I want to distribute to the fullbacks. Get it out wide, right? Or better yet, distribute it to our playmaker. Yeah, maybe. Um, I don't care how he gets it there. He can throw it. He can kick it. I don't care. Um... Higher. Let's use tighter marking. So how familiar are we with this? And eh, not really. Not really. But I like the tactic. 
it can't be any worse than we've been doing, right? We haven't really added anything in outside of what comes with it. <sighs> Let's go with it. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, we can't, you know, we've, we've already gotten beat 5-1 and, you know, you guys have seen me take some horrible beatings, right? All right, the pressure's off. I mean, technically it is. So we're going to lose this game. We really need Dunstable Town to lose as well. All right, Jones. Oh, knocked away from Cohen. All right, that's not good. Come on, guys. Oh, my God, who? Oh, Seedon. We're not playing an offsides trap. Oh, yeah, he was obviously offsides. I couldn't see, so <laughs> I have no, you know, it's hard to tell. Uh, I think there was a foul there, fellas. Jones gets bullied off the ball. Hurst makes the save. Ah, I meant to change the keeper, didn't I? Shit. All right. Coin. Good save and a clearance. Wow. That's huge. Let's praise them because they're actually playing pretty freaking well. Davies is complacent. Lumped across. Lynch. Instead of controlling it, he heads it down. Oh, good save by Hurst. All right. I don't know if they've got their starting 11 out. It's hard to tell. I didn't look. Headed over the bar. All right, they're uninterested. Scott Seeden, a gashed lower leg. All right, let's quick sub him off. Yeah, let's bring Jack Holmes on. I'm going to reverse these guys. Oh, no, no, no. He's on the right. That's good. All right. Get creative. They're inspired. I'm actually pretty happy we're holding them to a draw. We haven't had any shots. 50% shots on target. That's good. See y'all later. All right, All right, I do appreciate the efforts. All right, let's go look at the tactic again. All right, I'm going to drive these guys up into attack. And let's look for overlaps. Now, if they're coming up on the inside, right? Inverted winger and an inverted winger. Let's do that. That'll open up that channel for Jones and Spice to drive up the, the side. Maybe put a few more players into the attack. And passing. Oh, boy, they're finishing as shit. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. All right, start second half. All right, boys, let's do something. All right, Spice, Cohen. You passed it to the guy in the freaking orange shirt. What's the deal? Oh, beautiful ball. Wish our guys could do that. Thirty-nine goals. That's pretty astounding. Jesus. All right, well, so what I'm mostly interested in now is if we get relegated, what does that do? Oh, good defense right there. Good block. That was bad. Oh, hello. All right, you know what? I want to go. Let's go up to attacking. Yeah, I don't want that. We're good there. 
Let's go ahead and go into counter. It's a bit tighter. Let's defend more narrow, I guess. Actually, I want him to be a central defender as well. I don't want anybody roaming up high. That's just going to cause problems. I can see that being problematic. Demand more. Headed out. Good one. Clears it out to Hume. Hume beats a man. Ugh, he just dribbles it too far out. Oh, come on. So they've got a guy with 39 goals and another guy with 37 goals. Holy shit. 76 goals for t their two leading scorers. Wow, that is incredible. Oh, headed over the goal. All right, all right. Uh, let's see. Dean Jones. We'll switch him with Spice, and then we'll bring on Bittner. And Kenny Lynch for Joe Johnson. Oh, just... Man, we just can't hold possession at all. That was actually a nice touch. All right, laid off. Horrible. Um, run at the opposition. I really want people dribbling less. <laughs> I think that I, I want them having the ball less time on their foot. All right, Cohen. Oh, that's just shit. Oh, what a slide in front of that ball. That was brilliant. I'm impressed with that play. So, yeah, what I'm kind of interested in is, is if we get relegated, what happens? I mean, do I lose my job and then get even though it was to fight bravely. Oh, that's good. Oh, look at that pass. Oh, my God. Good one. Beat his man. Laid off. Back to Bittner. Crossed in. Headed down. Shot. Oh, what a shot by Connor Cohen. Holy crap. Fourth goal of the season. Yes, we're going to praise that, please. Woo! Oh, they're overwhelmed. Oh, that was a great shot. I don't care if you guys are overwhelmed or not. All right, good block. Huffed out. Hume's going to make the run. We've got runners. Oh, that was... Oh, what a play. He kept it. He kept possession. Out to Spice. Oh, no. Oh, my God. So close. So close. All right. Good headers, guys. Get them out of the box. All right. That's over. That's bad. Good save by Hurst. Okay, mid left. He can play on the right. I've already made three subs. Never mind. You guys probably knew that. I was thinking I had one more for my 80th minute. I forgot about that early injury. All right. Hurst. Push forward. Hurst is furious. Oh, no. Frunzen Jones, his sixth of the season. That's it. I'm going to change my son's name now. His name's not Sean anymore. 
Although I don't spell it that way. Come on, boys. They've looked they've looked okay. They haven't looked shit. Right? They haven't looked utter shit. Mm. They haven't looked good, but they haven't looked utter shit. And being that we're going against the top team in the table, that's actually pretty good. Oh, nice ball. Mongoy into the box. Good power shot. Uh, must have went off the side of the bar. All right, well, that wasn't horrible. 10-3, to three, so we got worse as the game went on because we had, what, three with four with two, so we got six more shots with only one on target. That's not good. Mm. All right, well, we'll praise them. We'll come back one more episode because I'm at 30 minutes because of everything we did before. So we come back to the for the season finale. Seeding's out two to three weeks. All right, what does that do for us? Dunstable Town lost, looks like. They did two to one. So it comes down. We need a win and them to lose or draw, or we need a draw and them to lose. We're not going to catch them on goal differential. No shot in hell. Uh, by the way, I want to look at these guys. Uh, players, senior squad. Look at that shit. 39. Just out of curiosity. Pace, oh, oh, it's just brutal. Him too? I mean, he's got 31 goals with a finishing between three and nine. He's crap. He's utter crap, and he's got 31 goals. What the hell? <laughs> right? What the hell? And they and they've got twenty nine assists between them. Gee whiz, they're not even the starters. How crazy is that? Now that they they are the starters, I don't they they must have been tired on the bench or something. I don't know. Anyway, all right. So we come back. We come back for the finale of the season. So yeah. I don't know what happened, so I'm going to record this right now and figure out what happens. And I don't know if we if if we get relegated and the league is not in the database, what does that do to me? Will I get a job? Will I like get a job offer from somebody else that's coming up or something? I don't know. Hopefully, we can win and stay up because I'd like to give. Eastbourne another season, but we're going to have to change some stuff. I, I, I have a feeling one, well, we'll talk about it next episode because this has gone on long enough, but hopefully you guys come back for the season finale, hit the like button, subscribe. Tips are always welcome. Pointers are always welcome. Well, welcome. Holy crap. I'm so flustered and flummoxed by this season. This has just been brutal as hell. Oh, my God. And we've got 13 wins, but they've got 16 draws. That's what's... To our tw we've got more eight more defeats. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's, that's just not going to get it done. All right, guys. We will see you next episode. Have a good one.